here with the sixth grade class at Basin City Elementary School. Hi! Okay, so let me tell you how I chose college as my one thing I was going to spend the whole year talking about. So when I grew up, I grew up in a family that was unconventional. That means I didn't just have one mom and one dad and one little brother. I had a family that was a little bit unique, meaning different than everyone else's family. Um, because my dad wasn't in the picture. So I had just a mom and no dad, and I had one sister who was older than me. Who has an older brother or sister? Do you guys bicker sometimes? Do you ever fight with them because they steal your clothes? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I have my older sister, who's one year older than me, and then when I was 12, my mom had a baby. So there's me and my sister, and we're teenagers, and my mom with no dad, and then a brand new baby. Uh-huh. Now you're dating. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think you're a little young for me. <laughs> what do I usually do? So I get to talk at schools all the time about a whole bunch of different stuff. The two things I talk about a lot are college and how it changed my life and helped me to break the cycle of poverty and also about drug and alcohol prevention. Have you ever made friends with the, <coughs> the other girls? Yeah, have you guys ever seen movies where girls who can be in pageants like take their lipstick and like write on other girls' dresses and like push yes. each other and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like that at all. Which kind of seemed fun, but <laughs> it's not like that at all. The girls are so nice, and some of them are my very best friends. When you're in the Miss America program, what are all the girls doing? They're being dedicated to their education. So when you're around a lot of people who are like you, it's really easy to make friends because they're all passionate about the same things as I am. How old am I? I'm 24. I know that seems really old. But I still feel really young. I still feel like I'm 16. My older brother last night told me to get your digits for him. Oh, you know, I'm in a relationship, sadly. Oh. <laughs> Slok, hola, Juliana. Tu eres? Tu eres? Mi mejor. Mi mejor. Amiga. Amiga. I gotta write that down. I gotta write that down. Say, say it again. Okay. Say it slowly. Hola, Juliana. I forgot it. Tu eres? Tu eres? Mi. Mi. Mejor. Mejor. Amiga. Amiga. This is my escort. Carmelo De Leon. Here at Warden High School in Warden, Washington, and we're about to begin the assembly. So when I was a senior in high school, is this my seniors over here? Yeah. Can you still hear me? Yeah, okay. When I was a senior in high school, I was rocking a 2.0 GPA. Okay, and is anyone here in Algebra 1? Right. Algebra 1 in high school was typically for ninth graders. I was a senior taking Algebra 1 for the third time, third time in a row, with my 2.0 GPA, and obviously I wasn't on the best track. College bound was not the path that I was on. I never imagined that six years later, six years later I'd be here talking to you all about my life and be here as Miss Washington, a career I never thought that I would have. Because at that time in my life, sorry, this is going in and out here. At that time in my life, I was defined by statistics. Because statistics said that I was going to be an abuser of drugs and alcohol, like my father was. And that I would be a young, single mother relying on the welfare system to support myself like my own mother was. Because at that time, life was really challenging for me and my family. And that no matter what happens, I can hold on to that certificate to become anything I want now or in the future. And as I mentioned before, if some of you are that student who has the 2.0 and is taking Algebra 1 for the third time, it's never too late to put yourself on a path where you are in control 
and you get to decide what you want your life to look like. I commend all of you who are here today to receive your certificate for being on the honor roll because that is something that you should be very proud of and it's putting you on the path to be college bound, to go to that place where you get to decide what your life looks like. You get to decide what kind of car you drive, how big your house is, what your family's gonna be like, what kind of leisurely activities you get to do. It's an honor to be here to share my story with you all today and I would never have become Miss Washington and get to do the fun things that I get to do if it weren't for my own commitment to my education and stepping off that path in front of me to pursue my dreams and graduate from college. So I encourage you all to look at your own future. Imagine that life that you want and make it happen. It's never too late, and it's never too early. Every night, people left books in the return box at the library in the <coughs> small town of Spencer, Iowa. Funny books, big books, truck books, pig books, they left them all. But one night, on the coldest night of the year, it's kind of cold out right now, it would be like tonight, someone left a strange surprise in the book drop. It was a tiny kitty. Kitten. Why am I in this question? Well, that's a really good story because when I was your age, I told you a little bit, I didn't know anything about college. And it's because my family grew up in a really poor family. Uh, have you guys ever done like a food drive where you gather yeah. food? Okay, yeah. you are awesome. Well, you know, when you gather food like that, it goes to help families who don't have enough money to pay for food for all their kids. And my family was one of the families that received the food that you guys are gathering. So that's the kind of work that you're doing to help out kids who are in need. Do I like Miss Washington? Do I like Miss Washington? I love it! Because I love um, to talk to kids, and I want to be a teacher, and I love to talk about college. And you know what? Mm -hmm. We live in Washington. You do! <laughs> <laughs> so you're like my royal court. <laughs> Tonight we're at the Miss West Sound pageant. In just moments we're going to start the pageant and all the faces of competition and then crown our next Miss West Sound. I just talked to the girls in the dressing room and they're really excited, ready to go. And I'm excited to be here supporting my pageant sister Whitney Gleave, the reigning Miss West Sound, as she gives up her title and moves on to a greater thing. So can't wait for the show to start. It's going to be a great one and I'm excited to meet the new Miss West Sound. Miss West Sound contestants. at Miss West Sound and this is Taylor Wall and she's a competitor tonight going for the crown. Taylor, what's your favorite phase of competition? Um, it's never been swimsuit but this year I've made it be swimsuit because I pushed myself to really uh, get in the gym and work out and change my eating habits. So this awesome. year it's swimsuit. This is backstage at the Miss West Sound pageant and all of these lovely ladies are in the hair and makeup prep room getting their hair and makeup done for the show. This is Miss West Sound, Whitney Glebe, about to give her title up tonight. How are you feeling right now, Whitney? I'm excited, but I'm a little sad. And what are you wearing? I am wearing a dress from our dress sponsor from American Rose Bridal. Great. Ladies and gentlemen, the Miss West Sound 2012 is... I 
don't know how to react. I feel overwhelmed and excited. Was I can't that, wait for this year. Was that moment everything Woo! you dreamed oh it would gosh. be? Yes, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. It was amazing, and I'm so glad Carmen got to be up there with me. We are so, so happy good. for you. Welcome to the family. Thank you. I can't wait for this year. It's going to be amazing. Marcus, you're so pretty. Are you excited for evening wear competition? Are you, Marcus? Huh? Look at your pretty shoes. Oh, and you're dressed up such a good color on you. Marcus, you don't look very happy. You're such a pretty dog. You're the prettiest dog I ever saw.